I think I had my first drink when I was about 14. Or maybe even earlier. I don't remember. My father used to think it was cute to serve us wine with dinner. Um, or mixed with soda sometimes. We were Italian. We were supposed to argue at dinner with our wine. I think Pop liked the company. It made his drinking seem a little bit more sociable. I, I don't remember when I found out that he was an alcoholic. I just thought all parents told you things and then didn't come through the next day. Certainly, I didn't know it could run in the family like blonde hair and blue eyes. My sisters got the blonde hair and blue eyes. Well, I was daddy's little girl and of course the rest is history. I remember my mother wanting to send me away to school and at the time I thought it was because she hated me. But now I look back and I realize that she saw the handwriting on the wall and she just wanted me out of the house. But she died when I was 13. I'm, I'm surprised that the rest of us got out of there alive. You know, my, my pop was always arrested, it seemed like, every other weekend for drunk driving. You know, sometimes we'd have to switch seats real quick so the cops didn't know his eighth grade daughter was driving him home from a bar. And I remember washing down my toast with anything that was left in his glass from the night before. Night after night, screaming fights with anything that was breakable, was broken. Nothing that you all haven't heard before, I'm sure. But then, thank God, my sister got smart and she sold my dad's car. She had signed um, a piece of paper, forged his signature, and told him that he had done it when he was drunk. Half the money into a savings account for Emily and myself. And she left town with the rest to marry a man that she'd only known for a week. I probably would have done the same thing in her shoes. But for the next a couple years, there was just nobody around to save us from killing each other, you know, or ourselves. I think the thing that finally saved me was my little sister, Emily. I'd come home late, as usual, and Pop was drunk, as usual. But something happened, or something almost happened, something sexual. I still had my wits about me, long enough to know what, what he was doing. So I went upstairs and I locked the door and I heard him come up knocking on my door and I had to pretend that I was passed out. Then I heard him go into Emily's room. And that one sound, a door opening down the hall, <clears throat> suddenly opened a door on my life that I had never looked through before. So I went downstairs, I went to the kitchen, and I came back with the biggest knife that I could find. I found him sitting on the edge of Emily's bed. She was awake, and I don't know if she knew what he was doing, but she knew well enough not to say anything. And I said to him, I told him, I said, Emily and I are leaving, and if you try to stop us, I will kill you. And all he could say was, I don't blame you. And still to this day, I don't know if he meant to leave or to kill him. So I took Emily and the money from the car and we moved north. But of course, that wasn't the end. The end was in sight, but being an alcoholic, I couldn't see it. That's when I met the working girl's friend, the married man. They never seemed to want much from me, just to get me drunk. And that right there was all we really needed in common. But lo and behold, it was one of my men friends that introduced me to AA. God's got quite a sense of humor, that's all I know for sure. I have a third birthday coming up at the uh. end of this month. Thank you. Well, I would have had sooner, I, you know, but after six months, I wanted to, I wanted to see if I was cured yet. And then when I woke up two days later after having my stomach pumped, I realized that I wasn't. So to the newcomer, whether you have 30 days or 30 years, we all know the only real sobriety we've got 
is what we have when we don't drink or use for today. I have a long way to go. Boy, do I have a long way to go. I'm, I'm too quick to judge, and I'm, I'm too slow to ever forgive, and sometimes I'm lonely. No wonder. But I know that it's all within my power to change, and, and that is what is so wonderful. It's such a gift. And I can only take part of that credit. I mean, you know, all you people here and all the people in all the rooms that have ever tried to sober up a sorry drunk. You've given me back my life. And I thank you so much.